welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. What a story right now for these guys. Win after win, it's been a phenomenal stretch. Yeah, well, you, you got to like what they've been showing here of late. Very solid basketball they're playing uh, across the board, and you can point to a lot of different areas where they have been excellent. Here's the starting group for Kansas City. They've got Bellinelli. He's out there with Mason. Reddish out there with Jones. And it's Kavanaugh in at the power forward position. And Pittsburgh with the possession here, following the score by Kansas City. Kicks to Forbes. Just five on the clock. It's good. And it's Mason with the ball for Kansas City. Pass to Bellinelli. Passes to Mason. The shot from 20 feet away. And the shot goes in. Mason's got his second bucket. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Morris looking over the floor. There's the pass to Forbes. And here is Hunter. Pass to Zizic. Just five to shoot. Here's Morris. And it's off the back rim. No good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Mason misses. Now Morris. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. They get a hand on it. Pass to Zizic. Smile again. And Kavanaugh pulls it down. Mason against Morris. Mason the pass to Reddish. Passes it to Bellinelli. Shoots the three. That one doesn't drop. Here's Pittsburgh with the ball. Trailing by two. Here's Forbes. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Beautiful timing, execution. Great move to the rack. Mason the pass to Jones. To the left side wing. A shot by Reddish. No good. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Morris inside. That puts them in the lead. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here is Mason after the basket by Pittsburgh on the other end. The pass to Kavanaugh. On the wing, Bellinelli. No points in the game yet for him. Now, here's Hunter. Defense is right there. That one falls. And how about the awareness Hunter possesses? Understands when one of his guys has an opportunity. And Kansas City decides to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best.
at some numbers for him. Defense, Pittsburgh. Pass to Reddish. Morris against Mason. Here's Reddish. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Really at the right plate defensively. If you can't block, force them to the line. Kansas City shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Two shots. Free throw good from Reddish. Pittsburgh making a switch here. Thornwell's checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Well, it was Pittsburgh winning their last game against the Pistons in Detroit. He kicks to O'Neal. Pass to the Bembry. Over to the left wing. Four on the clock. Here's Thornwell. The rebound by Mason. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there, Kevin. Too bad he can't release that one on target now here's Bellinelli D right on him Mason with it back to Bellinelli on deep Pittsburgh pulls it in here's Benbury good for the basket starting off one for one with that shot Kansas City trails by four. Mason looking around. Now, here's Reddish. He's covered closely. Six on the shot clock. Shot from 12. That's good on the jump shot. Well, it was Pittsburgh winning their last game against the Detroit Pistons. Thornwell, the pass to Wagner. The three. Embry misses. And it's Mason with the ball for Kansas City. Trailing by two. About three seconds between shot and game clock. He nails it, and we're tied up. Mason's got his third basket of the night right there. Well, he's knocking down most everything, guys. Three of four here. Here's Benbury. From deep three-point range. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. So it's a tie game as we end the first. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And we welcome you back to NBA action. A great tradition. Christmas Day basketball here on 2K Sports. And guys, when you consider how Pittsburgh is doing, what are your thoughts? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. Here's Thornwell. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. They've got Bembry. Wagner out there with O'Neal. Then there's Richardson. And it's Thornwell in at the point. And there's the three-second call. This one on the defense. Pittsburgh shooting their first free throw of the evening. Yeah. 
And the technical free throw is good. Passes it to Wagner. And Jones pulls it down. And so Kansas City now. They trail by one. Set in the four for Kansas City. They've got Jones. Bellinelli is out there with Mason. Then it's Reddish. And it's Kavanaugh in at the four. Now here's Jones. Shot clock at six. He dishes it to Mason. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Richardson outside. The pass to Thornwell. Mason against Richardson. Pass to Wagner. Three-pointer. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. Kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. Time called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. for making a switch here. With the All-Star game almost here, let's see how the West is shaping up. You take a look at Kansas City. They're sixth right now in the conference with lots of time to make a move. And right now for Kansas City, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season. But they just haven't taken that next leap forward. So many thought they might. They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they hope they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. Pittsburgh leading by four. Out of bounds. Kansas City takes possession. Dante Morris is checked in for Royce O'Neal. And it's Kansas City's ball. Mason dishes to Bellinelli. Kicks it to Reddish. Lock at six. Kansas City needs to get off a shot. Mason for three. Unable to get that one. So Pittsburgh will take it the other way. Pass to Morris. Here's Zizic. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Morris outside. No good from Zizic. Last game for Kansas City. They picked up a win against the Celtics. To end the drought. And the shot is good. The Pittsburgh League has been cut down to two on the bucket from Jones. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Passes it to Zizic. Here is Forbes. Smile again. Bellinelli is covering. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. That was just a perfect possession, getting in it in tight for the high percentage shot. Kavanaugh kicks to Mason. Pittsburgh pulls it in. 
Sizic has got four rebounds in this game. Inside, Smilagic. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. He's got eight. Well, sometimes being shifty in this game is a good thing. Body control helping out on that attempt. Here's Reddish, and he comes up with the deuce. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. And the pass to Zizic. Richardson, the bounce pass. Smile a geech. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. This looks like he's got more feel tonight, like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Mason, the pass to Reddish. Over Morris. A shot by Reddish, no good. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Here's Forbes. He claims that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And it's an eight-point Pittsburgh lead. And it's Jones with the ball for Kansas City. Pass to Reddish. And it's blocked, and he's able to get it back. Bellinelli against Richardson. Shot clock at six. In transition, here comes Pittsburgh. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Richardson. Morris has got the lead up to 10 now for Pittsburgh. Last game for Kansas City, they picked up a win against the Celtics in Boston. Richardson against Bellinelli on the wing, Jones. Now, here's Reddish. Defense is right there. And it's Zizic with the rebound. Zizic has got six rebounds in the game. Morris against Mason. Pass to Richardson. Teardrop shot, and that one drops for him. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Time called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. Outside, Jones. 34 seconds left in the first half. And it's good. Two points. Mason's got eight points. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Thornwell kicks to Bembry. Here's Thornwell, guarded by Mason. Six on the shot clock. Here's Thornwell. Count it. Thornwell's got his first bucket of the night. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. It's tipped, and he gets it back. And so that brings the first half to a close. It's Pittsburgh as they end the second quarter with a huge surge. An 18-6 run. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. 
for Pittsburgh. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. I like their commitment to that inside game, boy. Get it inside to the post. Got to be scoring in the post, splashing to the basket. Just shoot the high percentage shot. No jumpers, no threes. They're being a more aggressive team, the more physical team. They're definitely going to win this game. Right now. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Well, they're giving up too many high percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any book. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. with the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Pittsburgh leading by 12. We've got Monte Morris. Hunter is out there with Zizic, and it's Forbes in at the two. Smile a geek. Guarded by Mason. Kicks to Forbes. Six to shoot. Morris passes to Hunter. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Nice pass there to set that basket up. And for Kansas City, Mason is out there with Bellinelli. Then it's Jones. Then it's Reddish. And it's Kavanaugh in at power forward. And Reddish with the slam. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Smile a geech. Guarded by Mason. Back to Morris. Let's a floater go. And so it looks like Pittsburgh will retain possession here. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And they're able to recover. Bucket is good. He's got 12. Man, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Passes it to Reddish. And he converts the layup. Reddish has got eight points. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for Pittsburgh. And Jones sends it back. And he goes in for the dunk. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing, had numbers, took advantage. Now, here's Hunter. Forbes the pass to Morris. Five on the clock. Again, the miss by Morris. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Kansas City shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one drops. Andre Bembry's checked in for Pittsburgh. All three throws good from Bellinelli. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Mason against Morris. Oh, 
There's the triple. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Morris has got seven points. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Mason against Morris. Now here's Reddish. Eight points for him. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. For so long, the U.S. has been the country to beat in international basketball play. But uh, there are some big-time challengers around the globe emerging. Well, Serbia and Spain continue to be competition that, that the U.S. takes extremely seriously. And I'm not saying they don't take everybody that they step on the floor against with, with tremendous amount of respect. Uh, we, we know from years in the past that Argentina had its golden age with the, the players around Manu Ginobili and Oberto and Nocioni. Uh, but that seemed to be a timing thing for the Argentinian national team. Spain and Serbia will continue to be impressive and continue to push USA basketball uh, in these international tournaments and Olympic play. Now, here's Reddish. Over Wagner. And the shot is good. The Pittsburgh League has been cut to just nine points on the basket from Reddish. Reddish has gone four of eight from the field. Thornwell kicks to O'Neill. Here's Thornwell. The pass to Wagner. The tray. Reddish grabs the rebound. Kansas City trails by nine. Bellinelli passes to Mason. Here's Kavanaugh. Now the dish to Mason. Not that time. His six miss. He's made four of ten so far. This is Bembry. He has five. Pass to Wagner. Now Hunter. From deep, and Jones sends it back. And here is Mason. Eight points for him. Pass to Kavanaugh. Cloak loose. He kicks it to Reddish. From deep three-point range, and there's the call on Jones. That is his first foul of the game. Pittsburgh leading by nine. We've got 113 left in the third. O'Neill passes to Bembry. Takes a three. The shot misses. And it's Mason with the ball for Kansas City. 44 seconds left to play here in the third. Now Bellinelli. Passes to Jones. Kavanaugh kicks to Mason. Looking to end his cold spell. And Wagner pulls it down. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. There's Bembry. Five points in the game. The shot and game clock separated by four. Thornwell, the pass to Wagner. That shot off. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Here's Mason. Misses the shot, and that's going to do it for the third quarter. Pittsburgh leads by nine. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, Greg, is peripheral vision.
fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Kansas City trails by nine. They've got Hunter. Also, O'Neal out there. Richardson is out there with Wagner. And it's Forbes in at the one. Now, here's Reddish. Guarded closely. Bellinelli with it. Here's the three. Good on the triple. And as they're trailing in this game, they're trying to stay in it with the triple. They're shooting a lot more of them than they did in the first half. Here is Forbes. Now the pass to O'Neal. Pass to Wagner. Takes the three. And the three ball is good. And Pittsburgh leads by nine. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Time called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. updated from the sideline let's swing it over to David Aldridge thanks guys Kansas City's coach talked to his team during that timeout he was not happy with their play he told them we're getting outworked out there simple as that we gotta dial up our effort Kevin will see if they have enough to get it done thank you David Mason against Morris and the wide open shot from Reddish no good from outside the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Count it. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift-wrapping points. Now, here's Bellinelli. Jones dishes to Reddish. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Morris against Bellinelli. Pass to Zizic. Smile a geek. Rebounded by Kansas City. Kavanaugh has got four rebounds now tonight. Now here's Bellinelli. Pass to Kavanaugh. at six. Ellenelli finds Jones. Releases. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Pittsburgh leading by eight. Here's O'Neal. And he banks in the layup. Fourth quarter of play and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And there's the pass to Kavanaugh. Dishes it to Mason. Floats one up. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws.
And he makes the first. And he can't hit the second. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Here is Forbes. Kicks it to Morris. Here is Forbes. Flying his work from deep. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got four rebounds in this game. Bellinelli passes to Mason. It's stolen by Morris. And Jones over to help. Stolen by Mason. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was short, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Now a timeout called by Pittsburgh. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. He's had the fans behind him tonight, and that's really been a key for him. Once he got going, they sensed it could be a special night every time he touched the ball. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Five to shoot. And he swishes it right through. And Pittsburgh leads by nine. And it's Mason with the ball for Kansas City. Here's the teardrop. And it's Zizic with the rebound. Zizic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. O'Neal kicks to Morris. There's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter, and the shot goes down. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Mason against Morris. And the shot is good. The Pittsburgh League has been cut back down to single digits after the bucket is good from Mason. Here's Pittsburgh with the ball. They've led by as many as 14 points. Mason against Morris. Pass to Forbes. Shot clock at five. Here's O'Neal. Offensive rebound. Zizic. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Zizic has got his first points of the night. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for Pittsburgh. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And I think a great job in positioning themselves for the W here. It's win number 21 on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice, 
they're certainly happy to start it off with a win. Time called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. They're down by 10. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Forty-three seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Niang. Lays it up and banks it in. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. They're this close to putting it away. Yeah, they don't need to do anything special. Just take time off the clock. Smith the pass to Wagner. Here's Derrickson. Defended by Labissier. Six on the shot clock. Rebounded by Kansas City. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Smith outside. So it's Pittsburgh picking up the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you later.